Hello, welcome to a Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. Today I'm going to make a covered notebook using the Stamperia Gorgeous Cosmos Infinity Collection. Now this notebook I picked up at Officeworks. Um, but it's just a standard notebook. I've actually wrapped the pages at the moment in foil just so that with all the product that's going to be going on, it protects those pages because I want to be able to give this to someone as a gift. What I've done so far is I've gone ahead and used the Stamperia Primer to seal the cover, front and back and the spine. And I've also done the same on the inside of the cover and dried it off. So that's already done. The next thing I'm going to do is with the Stamperia uh, paint, Nougat, I'm going to paint the front and back cover and the inside. So completely cover it and dry it. So here's the book. You would not know that there was once a dark blue stripy notebook under there. So this is now completely painted with Nougat. I put a big F there on the inside so that way I know which was the front of the book because once it's painted, it's a bit hard to tell. So completely done. These Stamperia paints give you the most gorgeous coverage. They are so beautiful to work with, um, all the Allegro paints. And they come in a fantastic range of colours as well. Okay, so I'm going to cover this notebook with Stamperia fabric. And I have the Cosmos Infinity collection of fabrics here. Let me show you the four beautiful fabrics in that pack. Look at these. If you haven't used these fabrics, check them out. Stamperia are now releasing the fabrics with all of their collections. But these are the ones that went with Cosmos Infinity. So you get the four pieces of fabric um, in the pack. Here's the next one. They're light. Very, very easy to work with. This one's pretty cool. Look at that. Love them. Um, still trying to work out which ones I'm going to use today. I need to make my mind up very quickly, don't I? Look at that. Colours in that are just divine. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to start, I think, with this gorgeous fabric here. I want to use all of them. So I have to make more books, won't I? And what I'm going to do is just fold this in half because I'm going to use half of it on the front cover and half of it on the back cover. And I'm going to cut that in half. So here's the fabric now cut into the two pieces. And I've also cut a strip of off the side um, of this one here as well. So I'll just pop that to the side. Get rid of these other pieces of fabric just so I don't get product on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use rice paper glue today. I haven't used this for the fabric, but I can't see why it won't work. And why I'm using it is it's going to give a matte finish. Now, if you wanted more of a shiny finish on the fabric, you could go with mixed media glue. But I want to try the rice paper glue and just keep it, keep more of that matte finish happening there. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attach this piece to the spine of the book. So checking that's the front. It is. So I'm going to put it pretty much halfway so that it wraps around the spine of the book. The way I'm going to do that, I'm going to start with rice paper glue and I'm just going to paint it on the here, on there, stick the fabric on. Do the same over the spine and onto the back cover as well. So that's now completely dry. You can see with the rice paper glue, it's kept more of the feel and the look of the fabric. So all right let's keep going covering this book cover now the reason i chose these these pieces is it actually has a border on it so i'm thinking of using this for let me check it is the front and that way i can put that border along there and cover up the rough edge of the spine piece and i'll do the same on the back cover same thing i'm going to layer of rice paper glue stick the fabric down dry it trim it and then I will add another layer of rice paper glue. Once I've done that, I'll have a look at it because it may need that second coat of rice paper glue to seal it. 
So this book is now completely dry. Now I did end up doing, I did a layer of the rice paper glue on top of the book cover, the, the fabric when I popped it on like I did with the spine completely dried it and then I did a second coat over the whole cover just to make sure it's completely stuck down what I'm loving with the rice paper glue is unfortunately from where you are you can't feel this but it kind of still feels like the fabric um, and it still has that look to it as well all right beautiful product rice paper glue as I said if you wanted that shiny finish you should mix media glue that that all do work in exactly the same way this is Stamperia aqua color spray and this is in leather i want to add a bit of a grungy feel to my book to the notebook cover now you do not have to do that if you like the look of the fabric as it is you can leave it exactly like that it doesn't have to change but i always love to i love playing with this leather spray now i'm not going to saturate it i just want to add a little bit of darkness so let's do and what i'll do is i'll spray i'll show you how to do that give it a shake just little sideways swipes and as I dry it, I'm going to dab it with the paper towel just to remove some of it. Let's do the other side as well. You can see what I'm doing. It's just going to add that little bit of a grungy, dark, dark feel to the notebook. That was in my splatter, whoop, splatter box, paper towel. As I dry, I'm just going to dab away as I go. So I'll give that a complete dry. You can remove as much of the spray as you want to. So these sprays, they dry permanent, which is great. The Aqua Colour sprays. And this is now completely dry. Now if you're looking at that going, I liked it the other way, you, I said you do not have to spray the cover. You can leave the fabrics exactly as they are. I just wanted this kind of look to the notebook. I'm just going to place this to the side for a moment and start to think about how I'm going to decorate the cover. This is a Stamperia texture mold and cream paste. I have already prepared the texture mold. It's a little bit tatty around the edges, doesn't matter. It sort of adds character to it. And so if you if you're going, well, how do I make that, Julie? There are there is a video called the Magic Forest Journal cover on YouTube where I take you through the process of ending up with a piece like this. There's also an Instagram reel on the texture molds and the cream paste and how to do it. So please check those out to see how I end up with this with this end product. This is actually from the Cosmos Infinity range. This texture mold, love it. We have those in store at the moment. Now I'm going to trim this up, just take away some of those tattered edges. So what I've decided is I've actually taken the whole circle out and this is going to end up on the front cover of the book like this. Of course, we don't want it to be white. You can hold on to those pieces. They might come in handy on another project at some point. I'm going to paint this. I'm going to seal it with Stamperia Black and Matte Super Base. And then I'm going to paint it with Prussian Blue, which is a really dark blue paint. So those, the black matte underneath and then that Prussian Blue paint on top has given this really dark navy. So my plan is it's going to end up probably somewhere like that on the front of the book cover. First, though, I'm going to add some magic to this. This is what I've been waiting for. This is the best part. I'm going to use the gorgeous Stardust Metallic Pigment Powders to decorate um, this feature to go on the front of the book. If you have the Cosmos Magic Stardust Pigment, use it um, on this. It would look fantastic. I'm not going to, only because at the moment, Stamperia, um, they have not had this in stock for some time. I'm hoping it comes in at some point. It's sort of like a almost like a, I don't know, how would I describe it, it sort of throws off different colours. It would look amazing, but I'm not going to use it because at the moment we're out of stock with it at the shop and we can't get it until Stamperia brings it back into stock. So instead, I've got the other colours here and I'm just going to work it out as I go. I've got Silver Moon, Golden Sun, definitely going to use Astral Green. And the beautiful blue Neptune will look amazing. The copper. So I'm going to do a bit of a mixture and just see what happens. Of course, we use the Stamperia Beeswax. 
can go with you. I think I'm just going to pop it on with my finger. You could use a brush if you wanted to. I'm going to bring some of this out here onto a piece of, this is the Montmartre paper palette. Okay, so what shall we start? What shall I start with? I think I'm going to start with Blue Neptune. So I'm just thinking of doing a bit of a mix of colours. When I think it looks okay, I'll stop. Taking just a little bit of the beeswax onto my finger, picking up some of that, and let's start working this magic into um, the um, texture mould. Have a look. Isn't it pretty? Isn't that beautiful? The blue looks stunning. So I'm going to add a bit more of that. Have a look at that. I end up putting quite a bit of the blue Neptune because I just think it looks gorgeous. I'm going to add some little bit of little pops of astral green as well. Again, just picking up the beeswax, picking up the powder. Ooh, how cool does that look? Look at this. Easy, isn't it? All right, let's add a bit more of the green. I'm not going to completely cover it. Mind you, I said that with the blue, didn't I? And look what happened. Oh, look at that. Now, I'm just popping it on the cover at the moment to decide which colour I go next. So I've used the blue, I've used the green, and I'm tossing up between copper, gold, and silver, and I think I'm going to go with gold. I think that's going to look the best. The copper, oh, they both would look okay, but I think the gold might work a little bit better. So let's add some touch. This is called Golden Sun. Works exactly the same way. A little bit of beeswax, just a little bit to moisten your finger so you can pick up that powder. And I think those three colours, I'm going to stop there. But let me hold this up. Doesn't that look stunning? Those colours work really well in with the fabric, with the Cosmos Infinity Collection. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to now attach the texture piece, the mould piece, onto the book cover. I should start calling it my planet or my moon, I think, shouldn't I? And I'm going to attach that with Stamperia Craft Glue. It takes a little bit to dry this, so it's best to pop it on and then maybe go away for a bit, come back, and it'll be stuck down fast. Probably a good chance to have a bit of a cup of coffee while you do that. I have the Stamperia die cuts from the Stamperia Infinity, Cosmos Infinity collection. And I've, I'm definitely going to put this one up in the top corner. Magical Vibes. I'll pop down here. And then I'm trying to decide. Any of these would look gorgeous. That would look stunning on the front cover. Mm, thinking about that. That would look absolutely beautiful. I really like this, but I think it might be a little bit too pale on the front cover. This looks gorgeous as well. As does this cool owl. Have a look at that. But I think I'm going this way. I think that looks beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, with my archival ink, I'm going to ink the edges of all of the die cuts. I'm also going to ink the edges of the um, whole notebook, just like this. Let's go around and darken the edges. So the die cut, the edges are all inked. This is stuck down. I've inked the edges of the journal. At this point, I have taken away the foil from the inside. You can see that's protected the inside pages really well. Now I've got the Cosmos Infinity, 8x8 eight eight. and you could use any of the Cosmos Infinity paper ranges at the moment in store we are out of stock of them but we will we will have some in store very soon so if you're interested in purchasing any of these please give please give us a call and we can let you know when they arrive you could also use a or you could leave the paint as it is you could use a piece of cardstock as well so what i'm going to do with the stamperia craft glue i'm going to attach these paper pieces to the inside um, of the front and back cover and i'm going to stick the die cuts into position with the craft glue as i said it will take that little bit to dry um, but 
not too long, but it does stick it down really, really well. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll really show you the finished product. And here is my finished Cosmos Infinity notebook. So the front cover, the back cover, and of course the inside just sort of finishes it off, doesn't it? Having that paper finish there. Done. Thank you very much for joining me um, as I've made this notebook. And if you are around Paper Flourish, if you're in store, this will be in store so you can actually see the notebook. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Um, enjoy making notebooks, all of your beautiful projects. It's just fun, isn't it? Have a great day. Bye.